In this video, I return to the Texas State Fair, taking on this country's most expensive fair foods. Aside from being fried or doused with powdered sugar, fair food is known to make you fat. Today I'm on a mission to spend over $100 on as many new fair food items as I can. Can it be done? Let's find out. I have the perfect item to start this video. Let me just show you what it is. Who would I be without getting the Joe first? Joe eating Joe. Two patties, American cheese, a fried egg, bacon, fried pickles. Now it's a greasy mess in $18, but it looks good. Mm, everything is cooked to perfection. Bun toasted, patty seasoned, bacon crispy, egg runny. This is everything you want in a breakfast item. It gets a nine out of 10 for me. If you like the name of that one, you're gonna love the name of this next one. Uh, thank you. Smokey John's and hook your boy up. We got some fries, some chicken, salted caramel sundae with the dark chocolate cookie and a fried sweet potato pie. Let's go ahead and try this bad boy first. Mmm. Now 25 tickets is insane, but this top 10 desserts I've ever had in my life. Mm. And so crispy, but yet the sweet potato on the inside is silky smooth. The sauce pairs real well with it. Let's try the fries. Now they don't look much of anything. They're not much of anything, not even seasoned, but they taste like potato. The chicken, extra crispy, cook real well. Mm. Chicken is juicy, definitely a crunch when you bite into it. I think you're supposed to eat this together, the cookie and the ice cream. It's gonna be impossible. Bad boy leaking. I like how they put it in a bowl. I don't like chocolate, but the cookie's super sweet. And that's definitely salted caramel ice cream. Now, is it worth 25 tickets? I wouldn't do it. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I ended up having to throw away a lot of that meal. But the next one, it's a sweet treat that you might wanna try. All right, thank you. What can I get for you? Thank you. Come on now, there's no way that this could be bad. It's just a donut, right? Dog. It tastes like a glazed honey bun. For only eight tickets, I'm probably gonna get another one. This is real good. It's a little warm, which is the best way to eat a donut. It's sweet, but not over sweet. It is buttery. Oh. Nine out of 10. I mean, it's huge. I mean, here's a, my hand for size reference. Apparently, this thing has seven different types of cheese. She started naming them and I couldn't remember them. There's so many, oh my goodness, look at the drip. It's pretty good. Mm. I don't think ever in my life I've ever said that there's too much cheese until now. My taste buds don't know what to think. It has some honey and butter on top. It's definitely a state fair food, but I don't think I'll ever get it again. It's given a six out of 10. Now, if you're a cheese lover, like you just eat cheese by itself, you might like it. But for me, dog, it's too much. Out of all the places that I've tried today, this one has to have the best name of any food I've ever tried. Just watch. I do this to myself. I'm sweating bullets, about to eat something flaming hot. This is a big back meal for a fellow big back, so I think it was appropriate that I get this. This happens to have corn, brisket, a biscuit. And this looks like cheese, fries, sausage, and it looks like more brisket on top. Whew. My heart started beating a little faster, even just naming off everything. So let me go ahead and give it a try. First, let's go with the sausage. Sausage is pretty good, it has jalapenos in it. It's a little dry, I'm gonna say that. The fries, 
look cooked to perfection. 100% cooked to perfection. Oh, it has some burnt beans. I gotta say, it needs a little bit more salt. It's good nonetheless, though. It's like you have to eat it in sections. Like, I don't think I can get to the corn, but I'm definitely gonna try. Oh, yeah. Come here. Don't fight me. There you go. A little biscuit with a little cheese. Biscuit's kind of plain, but what you expect, that's why we're really here, right there. Pretty good. They need some more sauce, like barbecue sauce or something. Without it having sauce, it turns this whole thing from probably an eight to a little less than a six. Now, if you throw the price in there, it's at a four. So I don't think I'm gonna get this again, but if you're a diehard barbecue fan, I, I bet you would enjoy this. The best part was the corn. The best part was the corn. I was expecting something magnificent out of this. Now, I can't help but be honest with you guys. I don't want to give any false advertisement for any of these businesses. I'm sure they all could use it, maybe. But if it's not good, I'm not going to tell you guys it's good. Now, I'm not throwing anything away. I'm putting it in my bag for later. Everything's going to get eaten. Don't worry. A Dickel Big Back Snack. Got to be the <laughs> craziest name I've ever heard in my life. I think I saved the best for last. There is no way they can mess this up. Holy smokes. This has to be the only place to buy water bottles for a reasonable price. Gives you a Zorka. Not the best, but it's better than nothing. I've literally been walking around for 30 minutes looking for the hot Cheeto corn dog. It's nowhere to be found. If you found it, let me know down below. I still have like 100 tickets, so if there's something that from the State Fair you want to see me try, let me know down below as well. And if you enjoyed this video, I have one from last year that you should definitely try. But other than that, I love you, I thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.